it's almost like a magic carpet, at least according to its skipper. Part boat, part plane, the hydropter uses its two wings to lift out of the water when it accelerates, reducing the drag and raising the speed. The so-called flying boat even beat the sailing speed record in 2009, reaching 50 knots or 92 kilometers per hour. All this boat wants is to accelerate and to take off. It takes a lot to get a regular boat moving, but in this case, one must be reasonable and actually slow down. Slowing down may be a reasonable thing, but Alain Thibault is unlikely to be doing that anytime soon. His crew of six is setting out to break another speed record by sailing from Los Angeles to Hawaii in fewer than four days. There will be six of us on deck, manning the boat, and another three inside. One will be sleeping here, and the other two over here where you're standing. This is where the navigator sits when we are at high speed, wearing a seat belt. Our test engineer got slightly injured once when we suddenly had to slow down and was thrown six meters across the cabin. So now you have to be buckled in. It does get quite choppy. To set a new record for the crossing, the skipper will have to push the hydropter to its limits. He'll have to quickly navigate it in open waters while facing a swell that's several meters high. We're really facing the unknown. There are a lot of things we won't be able to control. This is a whole other dimension. We'll be flying over waves three meters high and with tides of 20 to 25 knots, so we'll have to find some good angles. The men must also watch out for whales and drifting objects, as the hydropter may not survive a high-speed collision. But after months spent finding sponsors and financing, the only real challenge that matters to the hydropter's crew is setting sail.